Hi guys, welcome back on another video. In this video, we are going to make a Arduino based weight machine. Though it sounds a little bit easier, this project is going to contribute a lot in the upcoming series of projects we are going to upload. We are uploading a project on every Saturday of a week. And if you don't want to miss that one video we are uploading, just subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button near to it. Now you won't be missing any of the content that we are uploading regularly. Mm. Before going to the video, I want to say you one thing. If you like this video, just share this video with your friends and family who have the same interest like you and me, so that is electronics. Now let's get started and see how we can build it. Come on. Let's see what are the components that we need to build this project. First of all we need a Arduino Nano which is the heart of this project. Then we need a display module. I prefer a OLED display. You can even use a LCD module or a bigger size OLED display according to your convenience. Then a load cell of 1kg and a driver along with it, a 4 screws. And a breadboard finally we need few jumper wires and pieces of cardboard i choose a metallic sheet for bearing the weight and this cardboard is for the basement and two or for placing the load cells now let's place the load cell and in between the load cell just keep the pieces of cardboard the load cell must be few centimeters away from the cardboard now place the load cell and screw it tightly once we successfully mounted the load cell, we can see there is a small distance between the load cell and the basement. Now do the same process for the top side also. Screw it and then we can go into the connection part. This is a driver module for the 1kg load cell. You can get it along with it for free while buying. Just do the soldering same as I have done. Don't change the order. Now place this in the breadboard and now it's time for our Arduino Nano. Place it gently. Then take few jumper wires. This PCC pin is for 5V and ground pin is for ground. And DT pin goes to digital pin 4 and SCK pin goes to digital pin 5. You can even change this order but while changing you have to change that in the code also. I prefer you to repeat same steps as I have done. Connect the VCC to 5 volt and ground to ground. Then take two jumbo wires and Connect the DT pin to digital pin 4 and SEK pin to digital pin 5. Then connect the 3 volt of Arduino to the positive terminal and the ground to the ground terminal. Finally, it's time for the display module. This OLED display has 4 pins ground, VCC, serial data, and serial clock pin. Connect the VCC to the positive terminal and ground to the negative terminal. Once finished, it's time for serial clock and serial data pins. Using a jumper wire, connect the A4 and SDA pins and A5 to SCL. SCL means serial clock and SDA means serial data. These are the additional components, a push button and a 1k resistor. Place the push button with the breadboard. Connect one terminal of the push button to ground with your resistor and another terminal to the positive using a jumper wire. The final part is to join digital pin 13 and to the pin where the resistor is connected. Now we can apply this code. 
This calibration code is to find the calibration value of our load cell and load is the final code. Now we have to include this HX711 library. Go to manage libraries and search HX711. I have already installed this. If you didn't install, the install button will become brighter and just click this install button to install this library. Then tools, choose Arduino Nano and port, then upload the code. Let's wait few minutes for uploading. Once uploaded, open the serial monitor in the top right corner. Choose the bandwidth to 50,600. Now press T and enter. Then choose your weight stone. I don't have one, so that I have chosen a soap. It is saying it is 180 grams. Place the soap in the weight machine and enter the weight as 180 and enter the Arduino has calculated our calibration value it is 8 to 8.20 just copy it and paste in the original code I have copied now I have chosen the load open it scroll down you can see the calibration value Ah, uh, yeah, just paste it here. Then upload the code. Once uploaded, our weight machine is fully ready to operate. But you have to remember one thing each load cell has different calibration value. Now we are connecting an external battery. It's awesome to see in this OLED display. Wait, this button is just for tearing, it becomes zero. Yeah, it's almost 182.27. That's it guys, we have successfully built our own weight machine. Mainly I built this for my drone project, which we are eagerly waiting for it to fly. Let's see how it's gonna fly or not. And if you don't want to miss the upcoming series of video, just subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. See you soon guys in another video. Now let's enjoy the music.